Hi YouTube, this is X-Files888 and today I'm going to show you how to get American Netflix on your PS3 in Canada. So first I'll show you the Canadian version. So this is the Canadian version. One way you can really tell is that the Canadian version, and I'm not sure about other versions, but I know the US version doesn't have the My List and through that you can um, save movies or TV shows that you like to this area and it'll save there and I know Canadian Netflix has this and American doesn't so that's one way to tell if you have American or Canadian and when we switch over to American I'll show you something that only American Netflix has okay so the first thing you want to do is go back to your home screen and quit Netflix I'll just let that quit Okay, there. So now you want to go over to your settings. You want to go all the way down to network settings. And then down to internet connection settings. And then you'll hit OK. And what this is going to do is just sign you out. And then you want to go to custom. Make sure you go to custom. Then you want to select whatever method of internet you have. I have wired connection, so I'm going to go to wired connection. And then you're going to, for the first few, you're going to just keep it how it is. So this one you want to keep to auto detect. You want to keep your IP address settings to automatic. You want to keep this to do not set. And your DNS setting is where you want to make sure you go to manual. Then when you go over, it brings you over here. And this is where you're going to enter the uh, primary and secondary DNS codes for um, American Netflix. And right now the ones I'm using is my primary is 190, 14, 36, 90. And my secondary is 109, 23, 111, and 24. Now as updates for Netflix and the PS3 come out, these codes could become invalid. So I'm going to leave a or sorry a link in the description to a blog that has usually the most up to date and correct codes that you can look at. Now remember usually when you get a um, PS3 update or a, or a um, Netflix update, you'll have to change your DNS codes. Right now I know these ones are valid because I just checked, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit over. And your MTU you want to have set to automatic. Okay, so when that's done, all of them are loaded in. You just want to hit back. You want to go back over, and you want to go over to Netflix. Oh, wait, sorry. First, you have to make sure you get signed back in. I have mine set, so I sign in out automatically. But if you have your set to manual, you got to make sure you're signed back in before you go back to Netflix. So then you just click on Netflix. Wait for it to open up and load. There, now it's loaded back in, so now I'm gonna go in and see how I do not know or sorry I don't I no longer have my um my list setting it's not there but if I go down a few and then there'll be this option called play max and Canadian Netflix I don't know about other Netflix but I know Canadian Netflix does not have play max so that's the first way and for sure way you can tell if it's American or Canadian so that's the first thing I do is just go down and check to make sure I have play max and now there'll be also a whole bunch of um, other new shows that um, 
Canadian Netflix doesn't have. I'm not going to go through and say all of them because there's a whole bunch that are new and a few Canadian ones will have been taken off as well. It's just all different. Okay, one thing I did forget to show you though, which I will show you in this part of the video that I'm going to add in, so I'm going to just show you this. If you want to go back to your normal Netflix, in my case back to Canadian Netflix, you want to go to your menu, quit Netflix, and this part's pretty easy. So then once it's done quitting, you just go back to your settings back down to network settings to your connection settings and you have to hit OK again and that'll sign you out and then you want to go to custom over 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 and when you get back to DNS settings instead of going to manual which you would do to enter your DNS server codes you want to go to automatic and then just keep going over 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 till you get to here then you want to hit enter test connection you don't have to do it again, but I like to. So just let that. There. So when that's done, you go back. Wait for you to get signed back in. Okay, there. Then you go back to Netflix. I'm just going to show you to prove that that's how you do it, but that is how you do it, is you just got to... Is you just got to switch your DNS server code back, or sorry, you just got to go back to your settings and switch it so your DNS server is set to automatic instead of manual. Okay, so there. Now when I go back in, see, my list is back, so I can have my list function. And as you can see, Playmax is no longer there. But yeah, so that's how you switch it back. Now I'm going to talk to you about a new series I'm going to be doing with my friend. His YouTube channel is um, jman0506. And him and me are going to be doing an Xbox Minecraft survival series which I will upload the first video next Friday. So today is Thursday, February 20th. So I'll be doing it next Friday. So I won't be doing it tomorrow, but next Friday. And I'm going to be doing it every second week and we'll be uploading a, um, a episode to that series. And in that series, I will have a link to his channel in that series, but I won't on this video. So yeah, check that out next week, and thanks for watching my tutorial or video on how to get American Netflix on your PS3 in Canada, and this really sh should work anywhere else as long as you have the right DNS codes. But yeah, make sure to check out that website though, because these ones that I've used might not be still valid when you try to do this, so make sure you check if those are the valid ones through the link to that blog. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye.